Another day, another update when it comes to the mystery of what is going on with Kate Middleton is seeing that these articles are just not stopping. Hey guys, it's me, Rob Morley. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. I would appreciate it. One click to subscribe, one click for the notifications bell. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And let's get into what is going on and give you guys some bite-sized content. But now it looks like there's an update when it comes to where Kate is. And right now, of course, she's reported to be at Adelaide Cottage you know, where she's meant to be staying. However, a report from Marsa.com is very peculiar where they basically have expressed that multiple people are caring for Kate Middleton after her operation at Adelaide Cottage. As the Princess of Wales recuperates from her surgery, she relies heavily on her close-knit inner circle. Former most, you know, you have her husband, Prince William, who has cleared his schedule and the children, the family, the Middleton family, including parents, Carol and Michael, you know, Middleton, siblings, Pippa, James and etc. But these are not the people that are being referred to as the three women. The three women supporting Kate Middleton, you have Maria, Teresa, Turi and Barlow, the loyal nanny hired by William and Kate. Meanwhile, Natasha Archer, her personal assistant and trusted friend. And then you also have Natalie Barrows, her private secretary. She smooths everything when it comes to coordination. So these are the people who are going to be, you know, in her inner circle, playing a crucial role in providing support and assistance, allowing her to focus on her recovery and return to her royal duties at her own pace. You know, so this to me is bizarre because once again, it's not highlighted that, you know, William is the one looking after her. They've listed her children, they've listed her, they've, li um, they've listed William, they've listed her sister, her parents, etc. But those are not the three women playing crucial roles in caring for Kate Middleton who are at her Adelaide cottage looking after her after operation. So, you know, it is seeming like something else took place because you have multiple people looking after her as if there's a hospital being built within her home or services being built within her home to make sure she's taken care of round the clock 24 hours. So I find this to be very interesting. A fresh article displaying the fact that, you know, she is in a position where people are looking after her round the clock gives me the impression it was something far more bigger and serious. Now, I'm not somebody who believes in tarot card reading personally, but there are a lot of tarot card readers who are making their readings on Kate Middleton. There are several of them on YouTube right now and probably on other platforms. And I know I just want to add this to the video where they're basically saying that something big took place with Kate that shocked William to his core and that, you know, it just basically put him in a very uncomfortable position, did, did not know what to do and etc. That would explain why he didn't go to the hospital. Maybe he just was going through stuff himself and, you know, Kate will never be the same. Um, again, tarot crowding, take that with a, you know, a, a, a pinch of salt, a, you know, it's a grain of salt. I'm not saying that this, any of this is fact or, you know, credible, but it is interesting that multiple of them are all saying similar stuff where that Kate Middleton will never be the same again because she went through something at the hospital and it has shocked William to the core. That is what they are saying. So I find that to be interesting that they are having the same linear message. Something else is going on and, you know, it does look like something in the buttermilk is not clean. For Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, wherever it is at this point, I don't even know, you know, quickly coming out to speak out to refute Kate having a coma, but nothing for Meghan Markle is interesting. Number two, we know that whenever the royals are ill, they would always make a appearance somewhere to satisfy the media, paparazzi and narratives to show that they are doing okay. Kate has not done that. And for us to not see her for six months, basically from end of December to Easter, there's no appearance of this woman and there's random reports of comas and etc. and the palace saying it's not. And it's like, it's all very weird. So these updates of Kate Middleton are gonna keep coming until we get an answer, point blank period, point blank period. And you know, it is tiring for me. I'm kind of over this, you know, coverage, but it is just very mysterious. But again, you know, I think what would really quell all of this and put this to bed is just her being seen somewhere with her husband and her kids somewhere, you know, looking like she's doing okay. The majority of people who are thinking that something else has happened will most likely get over it and the storylines will move on. Kate no longer appearing is going to grow that story and those allegations or whatever you want to call it that she does not need at this time. Make of this what you will. Do subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.